Hi uh, everyone, this is Scott Man. We're live here in Mayo, Michigan. It's very windy here today. <laughs> As there's more leaf traffic than there is foot traffic today. Regardless, it's a it's a pretty nice afternoon here. It's actually in the low 60s right now. Mayo is the county seat of Oscoda County. Matter of fact, I think the courthouse is that way a little bit. I mean, with it being late October, definitely not a lot of people out and about today. Actually, a lot of stores actually look closed today. But yeah, we're definitely in the middle of forest country up here. Mayo's been around since like 1881. Actually, was founded back back then. Actually, the uh, actually was named after the uh, one of the founders' wife. Wife, excuse me. And then yeah, the other courthouse, I'm just thinking back toward that way. Actually, was built back in 1888, which was seen a little bit. during the middle of the Dust Bowl. Actually, the hottest temperature recorded in the state of Michigan happened here in Mayo. It was back in July of 1936 and actually got up to 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Anywhere in the state of Michigan has never got hotter than that or even tied that since then. Although with climate change and stuff, uh, Anything's possible, I guess, when it comes to record highs and stuff. Man, we're over there. I actually have a pretty nice view of the of the of the countryside over there. Just a little bit to the south of the main downtown strip is the Oscoda County Courthouse. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it actually was built back in 1888. It's a very, very nice courthouse. It's actually, right next to the, uh, it's right next to the, uh, to the uh, Michigan State Police office. Right over there. A lot of the wind in this video. <laughs> so as you can probably tell, I'm trying to talk a little louder than I normally do. So that way my voice is getting muffled by the wind. That looks very nice. And then yeah, right in front of us is M33. All right, coming up next, I'm actually going to be leaving the downtown part of Mayo. Actually, on the way into Mayo, actually pass by a scenic overlook, which takes you over toward the over by the Osaba River. Wanted to cover the river toward the end of the video anyway, but I think from the scenic overlook, I'll probably get a better view of it than I will if I were to continue north on M33, going over the bridge over there. So I'm going to hop back in the car, and actually I'm going to head back to the west for about a mile a mile from Mayo <laughs> and stop at the scenic overlook oh that's cool it looks like they're looks like they're about to do some off-roading somewhere in the east of town and we made it here to a pretty cool scenic overlook we're about a mile west of Mayo Michigan right in front of us is Actually, the this is the Osaba River. Yeah, check out the great views of everything. Which maybe, I'll get, maybe I'll get a better view over here.
pretty windy today, as you can definitely tell. But I'm gonna walk down this trail a little bit. I might be able to get actually a better view. But still, that's definitely a, a great, a great overlook, though. Oh yeah, here we go. I actually, walked down the little trail. It took me to a much better overlook. This huge pond that the Osaba River flows through. This is because of a dam that's just north of Mayo. get over here. Oh yeah, you, can, you can see all the ripples in the water. But yeah, you can see all the fall color all over on the other side of the water. But yeah, with all the fall color all the way over there with this very spectacular view in the, in the Osaba River, this is certainly northern Michigan. It's sites like this is why many people all throughout the country come here during this time of the year. Although the peak travel season is during the summer months, still, th this is definitely a great time of year to, of the year to come up to Northern Michigan. This is exactly why it's like we have to Keep an eye on our environment, make sure that we don't litter, we don't pollute, we and, and we respect the ecosystems all around us. Because it would be a shame if if sites like this were to disappear on us. It would actually would break my heart to be honest. Yeah, it wasn't for passing by the scenic, scenic overlook coming into Mayo, I would not have known this was here. Well, this concludes today's video here in Mayo, Michigan, and this is the Scott Man signing out.